Hey Shaker Makers, it's Demo Donna here and I am going to be showing you a card using the brand new Garden Party Kit. As you can see, this is filled with endless possibilities for amazing garden theme shakers. This kit also comes with bum -ba -da -ba, a die key. So it's going to tell you what die goes with what to create what shaker. So really awesome. A fantastic stamp set. So I'm going to be using Happy Mother's Day for this particular card, but you could swap it out with a Happy Birthday, Happy Father's Day, Happy Spring, Welcome Spring. will all also fit there. So here is the shaker that we're going to create. So I've got the baby birds and the mama bird for a Happy Mother's Day shaker card. Uh, the kit also includes the fabulous garden party decorative paper and this is six by six paper beautiful colors absolutely love it you can add on as well the solids which match the decorative perfectly and then this kit also has available that you can add on the outline dies so make sure you check all of that out we also did on the Facebook Live on the Facebook Queen and Company, we did a live showing how to create this adorable boot shaker card. So make sure you check that out if you have not seen it already. And sit back, relax, enjoy, and I will make this guy for you. Make sure you guys comment below. If you have any questions or comments, you learned something new you'd like to share, I love reading your comments and responding to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are going to be creating an A2 card using the Garden Party Solids. There's these beautiful blues and I already went ahead and adhered this fantastic foundation die number three onto my card. And next from foundation die number two, I am using these three guys that I already cut out. So I am going to just simply layer and I've already got adhesive on the back. So I'm going to layer that large banner and it's so beautiful. And that is going to be the background for my card. Next from foundation die number nine, you've got these beautiful clouds. And once I started cutting them out, I just kept going because I'm like, these are adorable. And I just love them and I'm going to be using them a lot. So you might as well just keep cutting, right? Okay, so I'm going to add a large cloud here. And my little cloud here. There we go. Great. And then I'm just going to take my card and flip it over and trim off those little extra pieces. There we go. And now it is just sneaking into my card. A really great way to add a little extra pop to your backgrounds for the open sky look. Uh, now, if you wanted to do some shading, you can go in with like a light blue and do some shading on your clouds. I'm just going to leave them white so they pop. So next we are going to create our shaker. And I did add the outline dies. So as you guys know, that is an add-on that you can add to your garden party set. And that just really makes creating the shaker a little simpler. And of course, you can always make a shaker without the outline dies, but for those shaker pros out there, you know, it makes life a little bit easier. So I just peeled off that adhesive and I'm keeping the large portion in, portion in there. So I have that shape. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that is adhered by applying some pressure pop off that centerpiece. And I do love to save these so I can use them in the future. And now I'm gonna create my shaker. So this kit comes with a ton of adorable toppings. In fact, 
12 different toppings. And it's great for all of the little garden things. You've got your mushrooms, your eggplants, your tomatoes, your beautiful little matte and glossy pearlies. And then of course, like some dirt and some grass, which is just adorable. I'm gonna be using three things that are not in the kit but I just really liked that soft look. So I'm gonna be using some of the soft pink diamonds. I'm gonna be using the pink posies. And then from the fun Fimo, I'm gonna be using the red hearts. Push those down a little bit, throw some hearts in there. I mean, this birdhouse is gonna be filled with love. Okay, now I'm going to peel off, peel off that adhesive protector, throw that out, take my great pre-cut shaker acetate and set that in there. There we go. So I just lined it up on top and now I've got my shaker base. So fun, love it. So in this kit as well, you've got your decorative dies that go on top to really finish up the look of your shaker. So I pre-cut again using the Garden Party Solids that coordinate perfectly with the paper pad that comes in the kit. So the solids are an add-on and here is the Garden Party decorative paper pad that you receive in your kit. So you could see it's really nice and convenient to go ahead and add the solids because then you have matching paper. All right, so I went ahead and in the light pink, cut out the full base of the birdhouse and then in the darker pink, the roof, like the red color. And it's great because that's on both sides of the paper. So one side is the lighter red and the other side is the darker red. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my sheer glue, you know the drill, and I'm just gonna add a light layer of that adhesive around my whole shaker. Okay, and then just simply place that right on top. Oh my goodness, it's just so cute. It's already cute and it's not even finished. Okay. So now I am gonna take these two pieces. So this is another part of your birdhouse and that is your base. And then it's also the perch for where the bird is going to be standing. And I used I've got all my paper pads over here <laughs> from Forever Friends. I used that gray to cut that out. And as well as the inside, we'll get to that later of the bird. Okay, so I've got a tiny little bit of adhesive on this. I'm gonna just put a little bit more so this is a nice little thin perch for your bird. All right, so now I have my perch. Good to go. And here is your bird die. So in this bird die, you get the opening of your bird house you also have your bird body, a bird wing, and a bird beak. So you're gonna to wanna to cut this out in a few different colors. So I did that gray again for my bird house opening for this little circle. And we are just gonna add that right, right about there. All right, so now I've got my opening and my perch. And now I'm gonna take my bird. So for bird assembly, you are gonna to want to most likely do two different color wings. So I'm gonna take my sheer glue again, just add a little drop, tiny bit. Pick up my bird body, slap that wing on there. And the cool thing is you can obviously do like a little flying wing. You could put the wing inside the body like I did there, lots of different options. Now it also comes with this really cute bird beak and I am gonna do a little cheat. I know Ginger created this beautiful bird beak 
but I'm gonna use the carrot. So I have a little bit more leverage to apply my adhesive. So that is what I did up here with this bird. And actually I'm gonna use the darker orange one. There we go. So I'm just gonna apply a little sheer glue and your carrot in this kit comes with all of your veggies here. So this right there is the carrot and therefore just a little bit more leverage for me to glue that beak on. So quick little tip, you got a nice wide beak that you could put together or we can cheat and use the carrot. It'll be our little crafting secret. And then for the bird eye, and I'm just gonna do a tiny little dot for my birdie eye. And that actually worked even nicer. I liked the bigger eyeball. And that is just a black gel pen. Boom. Okay, so next we are gonna place our bird right there. And I am going to use my sheer glue again. And I'm gonna add my sheer glue on top of my carrot. Pick up your bird, there we go. And I am gonna go right here. All right, so I've got my mama bird, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a baby bird. So this is the inside wheel. So this is the wheelbarrow one. And I am using this to pull out this little blue circle. And this is going to be our baby bird. Okay, I am going to use the mini gloober. And I'm simply just gonna peel that off, pop my little circle on there. There it is. Where'd it go? Pop my little baby bird head, grab that gloober dot. And now again, I am gonna use the carrot to create a little baby bird beak, just like that. So now that I've got my baby bird beak adhered, I'm gonna just cut the rest of my carrot off now I have my two baby birds and I am going to do two little glue dots with my awesome sheer glue. Baby bird one and baby bird two. And there you go, two little baby birds in your birdhouse. All right, so next I am going to adhere my base. There we go, my bird base. So these are from foundation die number two and this beautiful little rainbow pattern is from the awesome garden party that comes with your kit. So I'm gonna go right about there over my cloud. There we go. And then I've stamped out Happy Mother's Day. This stamp set is so awesome. There are Happy Father's Day, Happy Mother's Day, Welcome Spring, Happy Birthday, so many fun scenes that come with this stamp set. 17 different stamp scenes, which is just incredible. And now I'm gonna take a little pop-up. There we go. And now we're gonna add our birdhouse. And I'm gonna do a little rolly adhesive around my edges and just to make sure it stays, I'm gonna add a little sheer glue to the middle. And now we can pop down our cool birdhouse. 
And the nice thing, as you could see, you can go all different sizes. So if I wanted to glue it on really short, I could. I can go all the way to the top. You can also make it longer if you want to by just adding another layer. And that looks like a good spot for me. There we go. And now I've got my mama bird and my baby birds and my happy mother's day and i'm just gonna flip that right over to trim off the excess there we go and now i've got my cute little happy mother's day same and next we are going to add a few little flowers so for those of you that watched the live last night and if you missed it you can always go back and still watch it but I showed you guys that when you're cutting these out, it really does help to sort them and organize them so you're not left with a pile. So you get a ton of greenery, five of these different pieces, and then plus in your veggies, you've got this great die here that works as grass, just lovely. One of the amazing designers on the design team did a sample with that and I am just running with it. So, and you've also got all of these flowers which are awesome because a lot of variety. I know we all love variety. Okay, so I am gonna do, we're just gonna do a couple little daisy stems. You wanna make sure you have room for your flowers when you add them. And then I am going to do a couple little grasses. Once you have your grasses and your stems figured out, now it's time to add your flowers. And I went ahead and adhered the small gloobers to the back of my flowers so I can just pop these guys on just like so. And now you've got some adorable little flowers. You can add more grass if you want. We can even add a little flower to our birdhouse to give it a little extra love. Maybe I'll do right there. Cute and fun. Add some bling. Or maybe for Mother's Day, you can do a couple pieces of pearls. And I think I'm going to go with this larger size. See how that looks inside of our flowers. All right, there you go. This beautiful birdhouse shaker with some gorgeous flowers and a little bit of bling. Perfect for Mother's Day, or this could even be a birthday card or just a hello to somebody in a happy spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment below. I would love to hear any of your comments or questions. Thank you guys so much for watching.